his bed and you should just take it out and stack it up like this in front of his lotus feet. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just stacked it up there. Then he looked at me. Well, first of all, he put it aside and, and covered it with a cloth. And then he looked at me and said, very, very risky that you change this money like this, you know? I said, yes, Maharaj, very risky. <laughs> then, he, then he said, he said, so, tomorrow, no, he asked me, how many days you are staying? I said, I can stay here for three days, but then I'm going to Navadvi to see Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj. He says, Acha, so you are here for three days, so tomorrow we are going to Govardhan and Radha Kund. You will come with us? I said, yes. <laughs> it's just Krishna's arrangement. They already had a little bus party with a few Mathura Vasis going to Govardhan and Radha Kund. So I got to go with Srila Gurudev um, to Govardhan and Radha Kund and I was the only Westerner and he was speaking in Hindi but a few times he threw a few lines of English to me and then we came to that same little temple that we always when we do Govardhan Parikrama there's this little Giriraj temple and it has a little little uh, hall across the road and we all sat in there and then just like a bridge bossy picnic they had all these cloths of of pickles and achar and, and puris and sabji and all of this. And I sat right next to Gurudev and took prasad and he gave me some of his remnants. So it was like very intimate. But one thing that I noticed, he was not at all into any kind of opulence or pratishta. He sat on the same bus with us rumbling along. Uh, and I thought, what an exalted personality. He's so renounced. He's so pure. So I stayed there three days. I went to Vrindavan, took photos of the construction to give to Pran Kishore. Then after that, on the third day, I got a darshan with Srila Gurudev. It was my chance to speak with him. And in that darshan, oh, I asked him a few questions about Harinam, what is Nama Bas, what is Nama Aparad, like this. And we talked like this, and he gave me so much kindness. So from that time, I felt, oh, here's a personality who I can go to. Uh, just like Prabhupada said. But I didn't understand his level. Because I still had not really heard his Harikata. So I could not understand his level. So another couple of years passed by. And Prantishur was still always in touch. Then he got the manuscript from the first English book of Srila Gurudev, you know which one that is? Nectar of Govinda Lila. And this was the first book that was translated directly from his Hindi lectures. So now I'm sitting there uh, in Los Angeles and I'm reading this book.